y'all. So this month I learned about going off budget and the surprising reasons that I do it. I'm finding this whole YouTube experience to be quite similar to therapy. Lots and lots of introspection. So stick around and find out when and why I blew the budget this month. Before I get into this, there's a few things you should know about me. One, I'm prone to melodrama and over-exaggeration. So when I say things like, I blew the budget, sometimes that means like, I'm a penny over, but not in this case. Number two, I'm super extra hyper type A. So when you imagine the most type A person that you know, that you've ever met, multiply that times five, and then you got me. Yeah, I am that type A. My type A-ness is obviously reflected in my need to be perfect. And while I realize that I am not perfect, I expect myself to be perfect and when I'm not or God forbid I should fail at something let's refer back to number one melodrama when I say I it means just me it doesn't mean that Mauricio was involved when I say things like I blew the budget it means they were things that I did Mauricio was blissfully unaware of did I hide them from him? No. He knows I did them. I may have done it impulsively, or as in the case of one of these things, I tried to call him and he didn't answer. So I bought it anyway. In truth, Mauricio rarely goes over budget. And when he does, it's for things like parking or because the vending machine didn't work, so he had to use his card to buy a candy bar. It's not for big stuff. While those are things he should use his blow money for, he hasn't quite grasped the concept of no money, no buy yet. But it's only a few dollars and we have a cushion in our budget, so I kind of plan for those. But that, Mauricio, if you're watching this, that doesn't mean it's okay. When Mauricio wants to go off budget, like really off budget, it almost always involves his car. He comes to me last minute and says things like, I need to get the oil changed on my car, or I really need to buy this car washing stuff, or I need to rotate the tires. I hit a, a, a bad bump. So the thing is, I know him, and so I almost always already have those things planned in the budget. And while he sits in on the budget meeting, he frequently forgets that they're in the budget. So he'll come to me and say, oh my goodness, I forgot. And I'll just say, honey, those are already in the budget, go ahead. Except for this month. I'm sure you're wondering by now how I actually blew the budget and how bad was it really? So as of today, we're about halfway through our budget and we're getting ready to go on our trip to Columbia and we're about 3% over our monthly allotted budget. Simple mathematical terms, if you bring home, let's say $5,000 a month and you're 3% over, that means you're over by $150. So in real life terms yeah we're over but is it outrageous like 150 percent of our budget no but it's certainly enough to make you feel like a failure so we had three things this month that derailed our goals the first was car registration <laughs> well i know we have our car tax bill i kind of forgot about the registration Normally we would register our car for two years, but for some reason last year when we first moved here, we only registered it for one. But don't worry, I've already programmed it into the electronic calendar for 2018. So it's never going to happen again. The second thing is kind of frustrating. 
It was actually Mauricio's birthday gift. Well, I realized it was Mauricio's birthday. Couldn't forget his birthday. And I had it in the budget. I only budgeted $50 for it. And that's because I had no idea what I wanted to get him when we did the budget. So basically what ended up happening is I thought and I thought and I thought. And I knew one thing that he wanted. He wanted a Bluetooth, like, smart thermometer for smoking, for um, smoking on the grill. To something that would, I don't know, something technical that would alert him, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yada. Well, what ended up happening is uh, my parents ended up giving him that. And so that left me kind of looking around for something to get him. And then I remembered Melina needed to get him a birthday present too. For me, I got him something under budget, but I didn't get him something from Melina. So I started thinking and looking around as to what he would want. And I came up with the idea of a drone. Now, Mauricio is such a super tech geek. He loves anything electronic, anything geeky. Now, he's never expressed a, a definite interest in owning a drone, but I have a feeling he'll really love it. So I looked out there and I read reviews and I read more reviews and more and more and more. And I realized the drone that he would probably like is like $1,500. And yeah, I'm not paying $1,500 for a drone. I was trying to keep it under budget. So I ended up getting him a pretty cheap drone that I think he will like and it'll, it'll serve a need. And if he really likes it, then maybe, you know, someday when we're debt free, we can get him a nicer drone. So the third one is probably the most embarrassing of all. I discovered this week that in times of stress, not like normal stress, you know, everyday stress, I got to get this done. But in times of stress, the kind that makes your heart beat too fast or makes you want to curl up in the fetal position and cry. In those kind of stresses, I lose complete impulse control. And it happens in a lot of areas of my life. I lose complete impulse control with my eating. And I do this a lot. And as it turns out, I lose complete impulse control with my spending. So I must admit, I kind of discovered this previously. I actually had an aha moment when I was filming one time, and I'll insert a card up here to the time that I was uh, realized that some of my impulse shopping was stress related, but apparently I forgot about that. Cause here I am, I've done it again. So I bet you're wondering what I bought. Did I buy a new shirt, maybe a new pair of earrings? Nope. I bought a completely unnecessary microphone for my iPhone. I don't even film with my iPhone. Why would I need a microphone for it? I use my iPhone to, to read off notes while I'm filming with my GoPro. Seriously, what is wrong with me? So those are the three things that derailed our budget in, in the first 20 or so days of the month. I'll be interested to see how it goes the the last 10 because that's when we're going to be on our trip to Columbia. Hello. So thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button down below and I will be uploading soon. See ya!